I'm Patricia Senekier and I'm the founder of Beautiful Soul. Beautiful Soul is a growth accelerator for organizations with a social purpose. We scale enterprises that want to do money and do good at the same time and organizations like NGOs who want to uh, resolve the problem of poverty in Africa. Uh, we're building the first Pan-African platform to allow those enterprises and organizations to scale. Our flagship program is, is the Accelerator for Social Enterprises, which basically engage the entrepreneurs of different organizations into a nine-month program to develop themselves as leaders and also to scale their operations. Um, I was seven, actually, uh, when my grandfather told me the story of, of, of her, like a man who was so hungry that he was eating some sand. And through a life of you know, hard working and really creating his own existence, his, his own wealth, he ended up with his wife having a child and, and you know, quite wealthy, quite wealthy man, with you know, children going to university and making a nice career. And um, I was 17 when I realized that this man was my grandfather himself. And that's where a beautiful soul is coming from. Um, the, um, the understanding and the belief that poverty is, can get, we can get rid of poverty. What usually um, limit you know, the scale of, of those organizations is the talent the lack of talents within the organization to scale. Because scaling is about you know, having the resources, human resources first. And that's where we come in. We come in to actually build, build this talent pool in Africa for organization with a social purpose. The beautiful source team from the observation that there are hundreds of thousands of organizations today that are tackling the issue of poverty in Africa. But most of them has a very limited impact. Why? Because there are um, the, the scale, the scaling is very limited and the reason for that is the lack of resources, uh, mainly, mainly human resources. So, uh, because scaling is about first having talents that can actually uh, move forward your solution. So, within Beautiful Soul, what we're doing is actually developing this pool of talent for social organization in, in Africa. <laughs> So um, our accelerator program, it's, a, it's our flagship program, is a mix of mentoring, coaching, training, and support on the ground. Um, so, and in Ghana, we have adapted this program to fit the needs of the primary sector. And we're working with entrepreneurs in the COCOA value chain, uh, entrepreneurs that are adding, adding value to the, to, the, to the cocoa they're producing, or are providing services to the community uh, in those in those in those area, and so we have selected ten mentors. Um, those mentors are people from different backgrounds: finance, marketing, uh, business development. Um, but they all have gone through a growth process within their own organization, and because of their experience, they are ready. They are they are eager and they are uh, um, ready to actually help our entrepreneurs going through the same growth process that they have to go through. What we've done for the accelerator program in Ghana is that we actually have trained the mentors beforehand, so before they go and meet the participant. And I was amazed at the diversity of background that we have, you know, that we have, uh, uh, um, uh, that we had basically and also their willingness to go deeper into uh, the mentoring and coaching process. Um, we, we recruit them and we train them to be mentors, but over the course of the training, they actually said, no, we want to be coach. We want to coach our, mentor, our mentees, which is a different process because mentoring is more about um, transferring your skill and expertise to somebody else, while coaching is really about supporting uh, the growth process of, of the enterprises and, and, and clarifying with your coachee uh, the goals that they have, the resource that they have, and, and, and support this whole, this whole scale process. So I was very happy with that. We're always looking for the hero in you, in the participant. 
and, and it's always a surprise, even though that's our job, it's always a surprise to see how, how much resources the, the participant have. Um, and so we had people, we, had, we have people from really different backgrounds. Uh, people that are farmers who actually are people that are illiterate, uh, people that were teacher before and decided to, to build a business. So we have a, like a really mix of people. But it's amazing the, um, the resourcefulness of those people. And f the way we do the training is really, it's really uh, about them tabbing into their own resources, but also recognizing that the other has has resources that they can, they can tap into um, and the learning experience um, within the group was amazing so uh, the funniest moment was uh, when Nana one of our mentor came up with those uh, typical Ghanaian energizer and uh, we were uh, a group of on average, we probably have 45 uh, years of, uh, of age. And we were a group of 40 like, grown-ups doing like, very funny things uh, with him. Uh, it, was, it was quite funny. I loved it. Um, so we're scaling our operation in Ghana. So if you are an NGO that wants to scale, if you have an enterprise and would like to increase his, its social impact, if you are a doctor or priest, whatever, who would like to be engaged into this field of social entrepreneurship, come and join us. The reason for the participant to join us, to join the program, is about scale, as I said. So we have actually taken the engagement and they also took, uh, took the commitment to grow their revenue by two at the end of the program. Uh, so it's quite ambitious. Um, and, but they get more from that. They get, they get scaling, but they also get the personal growth, as I was telling you. Uh, the identification of the resources that they have and also the fears.